young guys. Got a new RC car. To show you guys. Da, 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 da. So we have here the Traxxas Sledge. Tracks his sledge in the flesh. So I just scooped this from my local hobby shop. I'm gonna do a kind of a quick unboxing of it and then I'm gonna slap batteries in it, slap a GoPro on it, and go drive it. So uh, let's see the features. So this is the new Traxxas Sledge. It's got the metal chassis, 2000 kV Millennium brushless power system. It can run four or six cell. It's got the good diffs in it. It's got a torque bias center diff, clipless body, whatever, uh, aluminum shocks. So the cool thing about the, the uh, Sledge is that it has a metal chassis and then like a chassis raise and stuff. So let's go ahead and get it open. You guys get to see it first time. I've never seen one of these in person. Okay, we got it, the orientation correct. Damn, okay. Got the bag of crap. TQI transmitter. Man, this thing looks freaking sick. Oh my god. Check it out guys. Fresh out of the box. Okay, that's already off. Plastic here. So right off the rip. You know, it almost looks like the same size as an E-Revo. In fact, I have an E-Revo 2.0, so once I'm done kind of showing you guys the truck, I'm gonna put them next to each other. You can kind of get an idea of the size. But it's got the new Traxxas, these new tires. Looks like it has metal drive shafts. Plast these are plastic. Let's go ahead and get the body off, figure out how to do that. Um, how do you get the body off? All right, hang on, I gotta figure out how to get the body off. Okay, so in the back, there's two clips. Bink, bink. Pull those little clips up. Come on, oh, go forward with it. Woo comes off so there's the body shell got the blue one looks like it's got like a little cage in the inside to reinforce the body a little bit and then so those are the tabs in the back that you got to press on to open to get the body off the rest of the vehicle and big old battery tray so you got to put both your batteries in the same spot versus you know the other bigger trucks you don't they put them on either side of the chassis so lineon 2000 kv motor it looks like the same motor they put in the e revos and stuff like that 6s speed control Freaking nice. It's like a truggy setup, like more traditional buggy truggy, which I really like. It seems like it'll be a little bit uh, easier to work on compared to some of the other vehicles. Look over. Here's what the underside looks like. That spur gear appears to be metal, so that's good. So, it's that aluminum chassis, that's awesome. Let's see, what else? Yeah, rear metal shafts, front metal shafts as well. Uh, metal axle shafts. The shocks look really nice. They feel really plush. Nice, okay. So, yeah, she looks like she's gonna be a runner. Looks like it's got a metal servo horn. I believe that's the upgraded uh, Metal Gear servo. I could be wrong though, I don't know. But I know for a fact that uh, she should definitely rip, so. I'm gonna get a four cell battery charge for this. I don't have any six, three cells to run a six cell configuration. So we're gonna run it on two two cells and then we'll kind of see what the performance is like of the truck and we'll just beat the crap out of it, kind of see what it does. I'm probably gonna stick a GoPro on the wing somewhere, face it going that way and make a little driving video of it. So that's something you're interested in watching, stay tuned. All right, so here's the Traxxas, Traxxas Sledge next to an E-Revo 2.0. So I got them pretty dead, even, uh, pretty dead even lined up and man, they are literally almost exactly the same. And if you're curious what they look at underneath, Pull the bodies off. So this is the E-Revo 2.0 if you're not familiar with that. I don't like the uh, original E-Revo and the Nitro Revo before it. So, slightly different. 
It'll be interesting to see. I bet you this one is definitely has a lower center of gravity. I guarantee you this will probably handle a little bit better, being as that this has the shocks up higher, the motor and ESC are a little bit higher up. Um, and also, I, you know, you put one battery on this side, one on this one, versus this just has one big battery chase. So I kind of like that because you got to use the right size batteries, otherwise you can't run them in this, versus this thing, it looks like you can put some pretty big batteries in it, so that's really awesome. Anyways, I'm going to get some two cells charged up, and like I said, we'll go give this thing its first run. Alright, so here's the battery tray, but check out what was in the bag. So I'm going to run two two cells, and I have the adapters to go from XT60s to Traxxas. That's what these are. But if you're going to run just one battery, like one four cell or one big six cell, you take this little adapter here, plug it into one of these, and then you only got to plug in one battery. So that's pretty awesome. I do have some four cell brick packs, so I'll probably charge one of those up. But just for our first run, we'll get these slapped in there. So I'll get these all slapped and hooked up. Alright, batteries are in. Got batteries in the remote. So I'm going to turn it on. Hope it doesn't take off. Turbo seems pretty strong, a little slow, and then uh, let's give it some power. Oh yeah. All right, so I'll get the body put on, get the camera put on, and then we'll go rip it outside. Notice it turns better and less, so I don't know if I gotta mess with the steering to make that better, but.
motor is really not too warm. It's warm, but I mean, I was running the, I was kind of beating it pretty hard, so. Um, all right, we'll take her in and wrap this up. All right, so that was our first run. Things I like, truck handles really well. You can definitely feel the weight lower. It handles more like a truggy than a monster truck. I think that's what Traxxas was going for with this because obviously the E-Revo is the same size. Things I don't like, the steering wing, I gotta play with it because for some reason it's turned, it turns to the left better than the right or vice versa. Um, I wish these were adjustable, but I guess it's not really a big deal and I'm sure you can get the aftermarket ones. One thing I did forget to point out when I was unboxing it is you get these rear arm guards. So that's cool, kind of keeps dirt and crap out of the rear axles and the shocks and all that, keeps it all that protected. The shocks, they feel really good. Um, overall, I do really like the truck. It handles good. It doesn't feel like it's going to flip over at all. And I will say another negative, if, it, if you're comparing this to some of the other Traxxas vehicles, is this one's kind of expensive. It's right around $800 versus, you know, the e Revo version 2.0, I want to say is like $650. And then the X-Max is 1000 So if you spend another 200 bucks or whatever it is, you can almost get an X-Max. So I guess that's not really a complaint. It really all just depends. The, the value of it is in the eye of the beholder. I think it's a good deal, but just something to keep in mind if you're gonna spend this much money in an RC car, you know, you can spend a little less and get a same size vehicle, or you can spend a little more and get a bigger vehicle. But I guess that's gonna do it for this video. Look, hopefully in the next video, we'll take this into a park and we'll do some more bashing.